friends. So I'm going to start off the class. This is for prereq, ages three to five. We do ask that your parents be in the same room as you, and we do encourage them to participate um, with the activities. Um, if you would like to learn how to spot your child doing some gymnastic skills at home, um, it'll better their safety. Um, this will uh, be posted on our social media platforms. So if you do not want your child to um, be seen on the video, then we do ask that you turn off your camera at this time. It will, um, you'll still be able to see me, um, but we will not be able to see or, or give any corrections to your child. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, for the time being, I'm going to uh, have you guys on mute for the warm up and the stretch so that um, we can focus on hearing what, what I'm saying here. And today the focus is going to be our roles. So make sure that you have a good amount of space. As you can see, Coach J doesn't have too much space, so you don't really need too much either. Um, just make sure that you have a good amount of space that you won't knock anything over on accident. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start standing up. And we're going to do some releves. We're going to go all the way up on our tippy toes, all the way up and all the way down, all the way up, 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 all the way down. And we're gonna start with some marches. So bring your knees all the way up to your belly and switch, 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 switch. Good, switch, switch. And we're gonna try to jump in a square. So I'm gonna jump forward, then jump to the side, jump back and jump back to the beginning. You think we can do that a little bit faster? Let's try to jump forward, side, back, and side. Forward, side, back, and side. All right, now we're gonna try it on one foot. We're gonna try to jump on one foot. Forward, side, back, and side. And try the other foot. Forward, side, back and side. Good. We're going to get some froggy jumps. So make your legs really, really wide. Tap the floor and reach your arms all the way up. A, B, one more. Big, big, big one. Good job. We're going to try them with our knees together and coming all the way down and clap. One. Two, one more, three, good job. And let's do our zombie kicks with your arms out in front. Kick your legs, kick. Try to have a straight knee and a pointed toe like a pencil. Keep your arms still. And we're gonna do some quick kicks behind. Ready? Kick, 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 kick. Good job. And find some space. We're gonna do some mini crabs. You're gonna go forward. And go backwards. Let's do it one more time. Go on forward. Lift your bottom up high. All right, we're gonna spin our crabs in a circle. So we're gonna spin. Keep your bottom off the ground. Very good. 
and in our bear pose. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna walk forward in our bear. And backward in our bear. This one's tricky. One more time. Walk forward in our bear. And backward in our bear. All right, we're gonna stretch out our shoulders. So let's get some arm circles, big arm circles backwards. And let's keep our elbows straight and we're gonna go forward now. Forward arm circles, elbows super straight like a pencil. Good. And hug yourself and try to clap behind your back. Good. And we're gonna twist our tummies. Put your elbows out and twist your tummy side to side. We're gonna get into a seal stretch. So we're gonna come on down to the ground and lift our chin up high. And we're gonna go back into our bear, but we're gonna try some balance. We're gonna do a one-legged bear. Can you lift up with one leg? Good, and try to straighten your knee. Three, two, one, and switch. Try the other side. Three, two, one. Good job. And let's go on into our butterfly. Let me unmute you guys so I can hear where we wanna go today. Let's see. Yeah. All, right. all right, let's all get into our butterfly. And where are we going to fly today? What did you say? Who has an idea of where we're going to fly today? Yeah, where you want to fly? What about to, to Hawaii? Let's fly to Hawaii. Uh-oh, there's a cloud. Look out this way. Whew, big cloud. And we're gonna go through a tunnel to get there. Go on down. It's working. And look out, there's a tree. We're gonna go back to this side. Do I just watch? We can do it. Why don't you watch the movie tomorrow? And one more time. There's a big tunnel. We gotta go through it. We're almost there. Uh, anyone else have somewhere they wanna go with our butterflies today? Yeah? Where do you wanna go? Legoland. Oh, that sounds fun. We're going over there. <laughs> and we're going through a door to get there. Going down through the door. Good job. All right, we made it to our destination. And let's open up into our, what shape is this in gymnastics? Don't turn that off. Good. Very good. Everyone say straddle. Straddle. Very good. We're going to close our windows and say hello, toes. Hello, toes. And goodbye, toes. Goodbye. All right. So, are we going to make 
pancakes today or a pizza? What do you think? Pizza. Pancakes. Ooh. Yeah, pizza and cake. Pizza and pancake. Pizza and pancake? Okay. <laughs> we'll do a little bit of both. So, what are we going to put on our pizza and what are we going to put on our pancake? Pepperoni for the pizza and syrup for the pancakes. All right, let's put some pepperoni on our pizza. It's a pretty big one, so we've got to reach all the way around. And we're going to put some syrup. <laughs> what else are we gonna put on our pizza or pancake today? Yes. Um, syrup. You're gonna put some more syrup on. Woo, let's put some syrup really far. We're gonna make it really big today. Reach. All right. What are, we, what are we gonna put on it? Pasta. More some pasta. Okay. We'll put some pasta on. Put it all the way on the edges. And we're going to put it in our oven. We're on our pan. And we're going to put it right under. Pretend it's in our oven. And lift your bottom up, up, up into your oven. Four, five, four, three, lift your bottom up, two, one, ding, ding, ding. Ready. Put it up on your table. And we gotta straighten out our table. Lift your bottom up high. And put a fork on your table. And put a knife on your table. Okay. Maybe we'll add a little bit more syrup. <laughs> and eat your pretend pancake or pizza. Very good. All right, to get ready for our rolls today, we're gonna do some rock and roll. <laughs> so we're gonna put one hand on each leg, and I want you to look at your belly button and don't let go of your leg. We're gonna roll back and roll back up. What is it? Let's do some rock and roll. And if it's a little too tricky, I want you to try to bring your knees apart a little bit. Let's do three more. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. And more. Rock. And roll. We're gonna try to hold a candlestick. Who's ever done a candlestick? Put two thumbs up. <laughs> done candlesticks before? Whoa. So we're gonna shoot our feet up to the ceiling and try to hold our back off of the ground. Keep our feet up there. Let's try it for four seconds. Ready? We're gonna roll our feet up and try to hold your back up off the ground for four, three, two, one. Stop. All right, we're gonna work on the stand up from our rock roll. Everyone, take your feet and bring them as close as you can to your bottom. Walk them in, walk them in. And now I want you to open a little window with your knees. Reach your hands through to stand up without your hands. We're gonna try that two more times. Try not to use your hands. Bring your feet in and through your knees. One more. Try to keep your knees apart, but your feet together. Reach, reach, reach. And stand up. How did those go? Are they good? Did they show up? 
All right, let's make sure that we have lots of space because we're going to get ready to do our rolls. Now, if your mom or dad are there, it would be great if they could help you with these if you have a hard time doing them. So we're going to get into our bear position and we're going to try to tap our nose all the way to the floor. Tap, stand up. It doesn't have to actually touch, but you can try your very best. We're gonna do two more. Reach your nose to the floor and push it away. Reach your nose to the floor and push it away. Very good. We're gonna come into our position gymnastics. Does anyone know? when we bend our knees and bring them to our chest. Can everyone say tuck? Tuck. Tuck. Hi, Xander. Hi. <laughs> All right, so make sure you have lots of space if you're going to be doing your rolls today. And if you have a parent with you, I'm going to tell them how they can help you. So first, you need to get in your tuck shape and put two hands flat on the floor. Your head is gonna go right in the middle and your job is to look at your belly button the whole time. And the parents are going to grab their hips as they roll forward. So one hand goes on one side of their hip and the other goes on the other side. So, ready position and put your head on the floor. And look at your belly button. Look at your belly button. And roll. I forgot to roll. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like you have a very soft spot there to roll, so that's okay. We're gonna go back through and do some of Okay, we're gonna go back and do some of our rolling practice. So we're gonna get back into our rock and rolls. So I want you to grab one hand on each leg. And look at your belly button. And rock and roll. Try not to let go of your legs. If you're having a hard time getting back up, I want you to use your legs to swing them up and swing them down to sit back up. Good. Let's do two more. Look at your belly. Rock and roll. One more. Rock and roll. And now we're going to work on our stand up. So bring those feet all the way into your bottom, close to, close to your bottom, close to your bottom. And reach through the middle of your legs. Try to stand up without your hands. Come on, Xander. We're gonna do one more. Reach all the way through, reach, reach, reach. And stand up tall. I did it that time. I did it that time. Good job, Xander. That's great. All right, we're gonna move on to some of our balancing work. Who can show me a flamingo pose that we do on the balance beam sometimes? Very good. Flamingo, we put on one leg and we keep our foot by our leg. Let's do a balance challenge and try to hold it for five oh, seconds. One, two, three, four, one. No, no. And if that was really easy for you, I want you to pile up on your tippy toes. Ooh, this okay? is super easy. Oh. For one, two, three, four, five. Try the other leg. One, keep your foot at your knee. Two. Three, four, five. And if that was too easy, I want you to try up on your tippy toe. Mm. 
And we're gonna get some baby handstands now. So with one leg in front, I'm gonna move this up a little bit. You can show me our lunge position. Can everyone say lunge? Lunge. You're gonna put one foot in front. And your hands are gonna go close to your foot, not far away. Try to get close down by your foot and do a little hop on your foot. Let's get three baby handstands. Good, I want you to keep your arms up the whole time when you start and stand up. All right, we're going to get five donkey kicks in our tuck position. So, hands up the ground. We're going to get five donkey kicks. I want you to try to cover your ears. One, two, three, four. You did a six one, Xander? <laughs> I did six. All right. That's awesome. Who has been practicing some of their gymnastics while we've been out in our shelter? Yeah? What is one thing that you've been doing with gymnastics? Well, I, I didn't clean, so, um, we mostly do like a lot of stuff online. So we have Zoom sessions Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Oh, cool. So are you here with your sister? Yeah. To help her do some of it? Oh, that's great. Xander, have you done any of your gymnastics? Um, bouncing. Yeah. You've been doing some bouncing? That's great. Good activity. Yep, what have you been doing? Well, to close it out, we're going to get a superhero hold together. So everyone get on your tummies. And lift your arms up by your ears. And get ready to hold our superhero pose. Ready? And up, save your superheroes. Five, four, three, two, one, good job. Oh, we can take a little rest, superheroes. Let's try one more. Think we got it in us? Ready, go, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. You can also do this. Ooh, with your hands behind you. Oh, grabbing your feet. That's our basket, nice. It's okay. on the floor. Let's do our balance and our, in our, let's do our shapes and our balance pose on our bottoms. How about that too? So this is great stuff that you can do and show your family and it'll help your gymnastics a lot. So can we balance on our bottoms? In our tough shape? Keep your feet together. And can you straighten one leg up and come back? Can you straighten the other leg up and come back? Take a little rest. We're going to do a really big one with both legs up. Ready? And both legs up. Three, two, one. Good job. Look at 
tell me, we haven't gone over this one yet. What shape is this in gymnastics? Pike. Very good. Everyone say pike. 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 Very nice. Um, and something I would like you guys to work on until we have class. Until we have class next time is our pointers. Xander, do you remember our pointers? Jay. Yeah. I think it's Coach Jay. This is too Coach Jay. So our homework is to do some ABC pointers. We're going to practice our, our toe point while we're out. So you're going to bring your toes all the way up. Toes all the way down. That's A. B. B. All the way to Z. These are great things that you can do for some of your gymnastics. And we worked on our rolls today. Some forward rolls. And we worked on our rock and roll stand up. I didn't, I didn't quite do um, ABCs. I did, I did numbers from one to 50. Wow, that's like almost two ABCs. That's awesome, very good. And um, we almost run with zebra. Mm. All right, friends. I How is that? Coach Jay's again. <laughs> Has everyone been having fun at home with their families? Yep. Yeah. 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 Have you guys been going on any walks or? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely getting lots of walks in. What do you say we do one more forward roll and then close it out? How about that? Yeah. Okay. So we got to get in our tuck shape first. Put your head on the ground. And if parents are there, you can grab their hips and both help them roll over. Look at your belly button. Roll. Get those hands on the ground, Xander. Good job. All right, everyone, give big high fives. Bye-bye, good job today.